Hi everyone, my name is Matt Aquilino with Nexus Baseball, and this is Two Minute Baseball, where I cover your questions about pre-high school youth baseball and coaching in two minutes. Today I want to cover one drill to throw harder. Last week we covered an easy way to throw harder without mechanical changes, and today I want to look at an easy drill that will help you throw with more velocity. One of the biggest factors that limits many throwers is that their hips are not rotating well to help throw the baseball. This is particularly common in younger throwers, as they think hand to target and get the arm out front to throw and don't take advantage of the legs at all. This results in an all arm throw that won't have a lot on it. Even if the hips are working to help throw the baseball, often they aren't contributing as much as they could be. So this drill works on both issues. Like most of the drills I teach, this one isn't about equipment, but about visualization and setup. When throwing, what I'm looking for you to imagine is that you are connected to the ground with both your front and back feet. That is, not just standing on the ground, but that your legs are heavy, and as a result you are fighting to avoid being stuck to the ground. When you raise your leg and bring it down, make sure you are balanced between your front and back side as you come forward, and actively resisting your legs being pulled towards the ground. Then, when you think chest to the target to throw, your legs are already the most active component of your body, resisting this imagined extra downward force, and will be the first part to turn towards the target to achieve the throwing motion automatically. This will turn the hips rapidly, and so long as the upper body is loose, will transfer the energy from the legs to the upper body to throw the baseball. It also helps to create stability, as it will stop you from leaning forwards or backwards excessively in the throw if you stay balanced between the two legs. This will help your delivery by removing unnecessary imbalances that can hinder, hinder your velocity and accuracy. Play around with the degree of heaviness in the legs that works best for you to get the right balance. In the next two minute baseball video, I'll be looking at how to teach hit and hitting to kids. Remember, if you like the content, please subscribe. See you next time at Nexus Baseball.